Alright guys, today I'm going to show you guys how to get the sources on 16.1 Cody Fire Stick. Because uh, Hub Wizard's not on there and a lot of people are trying to keep 16.1 and they can't seem to get the sources and stuff like that. So I'm going to show you guys that. It's going to be a very straight, simple, forward video, so pay along and pay attention closely. Alright, so what you want to first things first, you want to go settings, go over to system, go down to developer options. This will be off, and the apps from unknown sources will be off. You want to click it on, it'll be like that, a window will pop up, press OK. Alright, then you want to go to the home of Amazon Stick, go up to search, you want to type in ES. Type in ES, go down, click ES. After that loads, go up, go over to apps and games, click ES File Explorer and download it. Mine's already downloaded, so you guys won't have to watch it. Alright, after it's done downloading, you want to click open. Let it load. Little box will pop up, just let it do its thing, just wait. <clears throat> so once this little box opens, it's all done loading. You want to go to the left side of your page right here. I guess the box didn't load up, but something pops up, just go to the left side of the page. You want to go to favorites, it'll be like this, you want to click it. You will go down to add. And you want to add the source that's inside the link description below. It will be HTTP uh, DRX BLD, the fire one. I already added it. So once you add that source, it will ask you for the name. Type in Cody for the name. After you're done typing Cody for a name, click Add. After you click Add, on the bottom of the screen, it will say Bookmark Cody successfully created. After that, you want to go to the left side of the screen, go down until you find Cody. It's Cody, as I named it. Click Cody. And on the right side, you want to go over, go down. The little square rectangle around the name is the selection button. So if you guys don't know that. So you want to click 16.1 Jarvis. So once you click that, it'll start downloading it. You could do this for Krypton 17.02 if you want, if you want that newest update. But this one's for 16.1. Either one will work if you want to download whichever one. So once that's done downloading, it'll pop up saying... Um, open folder or open file. You want to open the file. After you open the file, it'll ask you cancel or install. You want to install it. Once it installs, you're going to want to open it up. I already have it downloaded. So um, once you guys do that and download that, just uh, open it up and continue on for where we're about to be at. And all right, and this is where I'm gonna show you guys how to get the sources because Hub Wizard's not on there no more, and people are getting confused. So go over to Systems, go down, go File Manager, go down to Add Source, and you want to add the source that's going to be in the link description. Um, it'll be HTTP four forward fusion TV dot TV add on dot ag forward. Then you want to click done, and then it's going to ask you for the name of the source, kind of like the when you got to install Cody. I'm just going to name it Fusion um, or Fuss. So you press OK. Once that's done, you want to back out. You want to go down to, you want to go up and click System. And you want to go to Add ons. Then you want to go install from zip file. Then you want to go down to Fuss. Then you want to go Begin here. Then you want to go to Plugin, Program, Plugin, <laughs> Indigo. and let that load up it's gonna update and load up you want to get out of there back out so just like we'll just wait a second stuff st should start popping up on the bottom right of your screen adding enabled and all that stuff so you just want to give it a little bit of time
there it goes right there add on enable okay so once that says add on enabled you want to go over to programs you want to go to program add-ons you want to go to indigo and let it do its thing and you see config wizard right here you want to click config wizard and please confirm that you want to wish automatically yes install let that do its thing again let it install and this takes roughly about a minute or minutes or two depending on your guys' uh, connectivity um, people have a lot of uh, buffering problems on here people say you could clear the cache and um, it would be fine but then again sometimes it depends on your internet service too on how many megabytes you're running per download and all that stuff so I'm 200 uh, MB from uh, Comcast so it's doing pretty good I, I was running off of 18 back in the day and it was not that great so um, Cody was a pain in the ass and kept buffering and I didn't like it so I had to update my or upgrade my internet service and ever since then I haven't had a problem so I'm pretty happy with it actually don't have no cable service this is my cable service I don't really watch much TV anyways and when I do it's just movies and uh, little funny TV shows I guess so once this is done downloading it should be pretty much it guys for the people that want 16.1 personally I love 16.1 I don't really care for 17.0 I really don't mind I just want to watch movies and TV shows just that's it I don't need to be doing all this other weird alright so once that's done it will kick you out and restart it so when you want to restart it so this is gonna I'm gonna show you guys how to get to the Kodi app because it's not gonna be on your home um, you're gonna want to go down to settings go over to applications go down to manage installed applications and you want to scroll down until you see Kodi okay click Kodi and click launch application and you will bring you to Kodi and as you see tvaddons.ag and we've got all the sources that are back to normal that Hub Wizard had and you guys can get it since Cody changed it up a little bit I figured a way around or figured a way out for you guys to keep 16.1 after the new updates out and everything as you see Exodius and everything's pretty much the same as it used to be before they changed the stuff the Hub Wizard into Indigo so yeah, once you open up Cody for the first time too, when you reopen it up, you just want to leave the remote there for like a minute or two. Everything will start updating too. So if you try to go off the bat like I'm doing right now, it's not loading none of the sources or lo loading because it's trying to update all these sources. Um, yeah, just that's it. But other than that, you guys, that's how you guys get Cody 16.1, the updated version, I guess, or new way. On your guys' Cody Fire Stick TV. If you guys want the newest update, look at my uh, channel and I have the video on that. If you guys have any problems, just um, leave a comment in the description or you know, let me know and I'll try to get you guys a video or help you guys out my best. Till then, have a good day, have a good week, have a good year.